Kev, it's 15 years since Halifax and Leeds last played each other. What, what do you remember of those clashes back in the day? Uh, they were good. They were good. Uh, good memories, especially playing at the Shea. Uh, I can remember getting beat there, actually, but um, yeah, always good. It's a really good surface to play on with it being a football field. and It's a derby. It's a, it's a derby game, and, and um, I think they love having Leeds um, at their ground. and. Always a great atmosphere, and we're really looking forward to it. So um, it's good. I think it's good for everybody. It's, you know, I was there earlier this year, and I watched them in the game against Swinton, and um, really good atmosphere. It's a really good club as well. Um, really look after the people there, and, and uh, yeah, we, we look forward to going there Sunday. Richard Marshall said to me, "It's it's a cup final for them. What what is it for Leeds?" Yeah, it's probably exactly the same. Um, big game for us, I know everybody else will play before us um, on Saturday this weekend so we'll know what um, the table looks like and know what, exactly what we have to do, what we have to win. Um, we know we need at least one more, possibly two. Um, I want us to win both games uh, but we've got to go there and play well on Sunday and um, They've got some good players, they've got some quality, they work really well drilled. I think Richard Marshall's done an outstanding job there and and um, yeah, we look forward to going there and hopefully playing some of our best stuff now that some of that pressure is, I suppose has lifted, some of the clouds are starting to clear and, and um, metaphorically that is because I know it's started chucking it down out there but um, yeah, hopefully we can, we can be tough, we can be physical we can be everything that Halifax will expect from us, but hopefully we can add some smarts to it and some skill and, and uh, really enjoy the day. Can you appreciate the achievement of a part-time side to actually qualify for the qualifiers? Very much so. Very much so. I think um, I had an older brother who played semi-pro for the best part of 15 years, so I know exactly the commitment those guys make. Um, I know Richard Marshall uh, pretty well as well. I understand the time and effort he puts into that role, and and um, yeah, for them to be where they are is is outstanding. I think they've done a really really good job. It's a very well run club, and um, you know it's testament to them that they keep producing their own players as well. Their reserve team has has paid dividends for them, and and they keep producing players and unearthing talent. And it's great to see. So, um, a couple of ex-Leeds boys in there as well, who I played alongside both of them and, and respect them and, and enjoy playing alongside them. So, um, you know, we look forward to catching up with those. But um, yes, yeah, it is a big game for us Sunday. Is there any chance of it being a less stressful game for for you and the Leeds fans? I hope so. I hope so. I, I think uh, you know we're preparing for the best of Halifax. We think they'll throw a whole lot at us and, and be very physical. Um, and we have to match fire with fire with that. We, we're re re really expecting that, and um, you know we, we've made sure this week that um, not that you'd expect any complacency, but we've made sure absolutely that there, there won't be any, and, and we've got to go there ready to play and ready to be aggressive and. Ready to be smart with that, ready to work hard and, and know that, like I said, we could turn up Sunday knowing full well that you know that, that one win could confirm Super League status for us and um, you know it, it may take another week but um, it'd be great to go there Sunday and, and have it fixed up. How important would it be to, to have the survival settled that it doesn't come down to next week's game? Well, it'd be great, um, and I think even if um, you know, even if we win Sunday and those three results on Saturday, going away that we still have to win the week after. You know, I don't want to rely on points difference. Um, I'd much rather it were done earlier, but if it's not, it's not. We we get on with it. Um, I've said it before. Leeds have always found the tough route. I'm glad we're in middle of September now because it normally play, means we play some decent stuff. Um, experience will tell you that. So um, 
yeah, we, we look forward to Sunday and we'll certainly go there with a strong team, ready to play. What about the team? How different could it look this week? Uh, Brett Ferris um, will be missing with his suspension. Besides that, we may tinker with one or two. Um, Brett's submission will mean somebody new comes into the starting lineup. I have to say he's been great um, since I came back. He's been he's been a really good performer for us, and his influence in that dressing room has been very strong. So we'll miss him this week. But give someone an opportunity, and and um, yeah, I, I, you know, I don't think there'll be too many changes, but. Um, you know, we we want to go there with a stronger team as we can and get some wins, so um, or carry on winning, should I say? Players like Brad Dwyer and Luke Briscoe have played against Halifax, haven't they, in the the championship this year? Can they give you a bit of an insight? Um, yeah, they've spoken a bit this week, um, but like I said, I, I think certainly from a they'd be more coming at it from a complacency point of view, um, but I. I think the way the boys have uh, got stuck into training this week, especially with the rain and the wind and the mud, that's probably helped fo really focus us and, and sharpen us up. So, um, you know, I, we, we look like I said, we're looking forward to Sunday. Those two having had some experience against this team is is only a good thing for us. Brett Delaney, we're not going to see him again this year, are we? Can you give us a bit of detail on the the eye injury because it sounds pretty. Gory. Yeah, it's it, yeah, it's a real loss for us. I think um, it was my first game, the cast game away, straight boot, and and uh, got a pretty bad cut, fractured eye socket. Um, and I think a muscle had been caught in the fracture, so uh, which meant an operation. And then since then, um, Brett suffered quite a bit of blood vision, and still struggling with some of that. So in effect, seeing a specialist and. It's ruled him out for three months, which is, is tough for him um, and been tough for us as well because we've been light on troops, especially in sort of the back row positions. There's been a couple that have need to be rolled and, and we're given a bit of a rest. We've just not had that luxury at all. Um, so it's sad for, for Brett, um, a tough one for us. You know, it's probably fair to say we've lost Kyle Ablett now for the year as well. And us. Um, a couple of games to go, Stevie Ward as well. So, you know, you look at the list of players who have actually lost long term or lost for large periods. It does make life pretty tough, but um, like I said, I'm confident in our 19 this week and I'll be confident in our 17 that we, you know, we, we'll go there and, and do a really good job.